Hello everyone, this is Nate with Photodex, and today I'm going to show you what to do when you see this. A missing files warning. I'll be using ProShow Producer today, but everything you'll see works exactly the same in ProShow Gold. So what does the missing files message mean, and when will you see it? This warning will appear when ProShow can't find some or all of the content for your show. This includes photos, videos, or music. Remember, when you add content to a show, ProShow doesn't import, copy, or move those files. Instead, you're simply telling ProShow where those files are on your computer. If you move or rename your show files, ProShow will no longer know where to find the content on your system. That's when you'll see the warning. There are two different missing files warnings. First, let's talk about this one. This is the warning you'll see when you open a show. And as you can see, ProShow is telling me that some files in my show are missing, and it's asking if I'd like to search for those files. If I press cancel, nothing will happen and my show will not load. This is ProShow's way of saying, there's something missing in my show, and I'll have to do something about it if I want it to look its best. If I press no, I'll skip the step of searching for content, and my show will open. That's when I'll see the second missing files warning, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. Since I do want to find my files, I'm going to click yes. Now we'll see the find missing files window. Here I can see how many files are missing. I can also see the name of the file originally used to make the show and where it was used in my show. As you can see right here, layer one of slide one. Use these to help identify which files you need to locate on your computer. We'll come back to this window in a bit. But for now, I'm going to click Cancel so that I can show you the second missing files warning you might see when using ProShow. You can see that the show has been opened, but the images used when I originally created slide number one are not there. To get back to the Find Missing Files window so I can locate my content, I'm going to go into the menu bar at the top of the screen, go to Tools, and then select Find Missing Files. Just as before, now I see a list of all the content that ProShow needs help finding. With an image selected, down at the bottom, I'm going to click on the Find Selected button. This will allow me to browse my computer to find the new location for my show content. And as you can see, in this case, I only had to search for one file to find all my missing files. That's because ProShow will look in each selected folder and try to locate other missing files for you. If your show files have been spread out across your computer, or if they have been renamed, you may need to repeat this process a few times, sometimes even locating each file one at a time. As files are found, you'll get a green check mark next to the name. Once all files have been found, you'll see a notice right here just above the files list. Press Done. Now down in the slide list, you'll see the show is back to normal. To keep from having to find the files in the future, be sure to resave the show after finding the missing files. That way, ProShow will remember where to look the next time the show opens. Another great way to prevent this from happening is to use the Collect Show Files feature for each show that you've created. This will gather up all of your show files and copy them into one well-organized place. This option can be found in the menu bar under Tools. If you're not familiar with this tool, be sure to check out the Collecting Show Files video tutorial on our YouTube channel. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you guys all for watching, and be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel, or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.